I'm gonna make a toothpick holder for my brother. It's really gonna be another one of those magic tubes, except I'm not gonna make a hidden cap for it. It's gonna have a little bit of a, a recess, very similar to my uh, container that I made. So I'll chamfer the edges just a little bit, although it will have threaded engagement so that he can securely put his toothpicks in there. He likes, he uses toothpicks all the time. So I'm gonna make him a toothpick holder. I thought about using brass. I'm gonna save my brass. And I thought about using steel, but I thought steel's not quite as, I have some stainless, but nothing large enough. I thought aluminum would probably be my best alternative for sanitary reasons, I suppose. I don't know. So that's what we're gonna do. This uh, short little video is gonna be not a lot of talking. Maybe you all will like that actually. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a four inch piece. It'll have a half inch cap, half inch thread, and then a four inch or a half inch base. So uh, the average toothpick is two and a half inches in length. That should give us enough material to work with and a quarter inch of base material. And I think it should be able to hold toothpicks just fine. So let's get started. I think what I'm going to do, this is one inch stock. What I want to do, this is a good opportunity for me to use my collet chuck. So that's what we're going to do today. This is one inch stock. I have a one inch ER40 collet chuck. It's going to fit in here really nice. And that's going to allow me to work with this material nice and concentrically. And then I'll be able to shave off just enough to clean it up and make it look really nice and work with this material. So it'll be a good practice to work with the collet chuck, get that mounted up and uh, continue on. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that stuff out and, uh, and then that's how we're gonna continue on with this project.
there we go. Let's see how we look. It's looking very nice. Very nice indeed. So, that's what we're going to start with. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my threads on here. Again, it's going to be half inch threads. So, that'll be the first thing we do. And then uh, we'll part off our cap. And then we'll do our boring operation. And, and we'll just continue on. Again, simple project. We need to go all the way down to 490,000.
So that video went a little bit longer than I thought it would, but uh, I did do some more things with some other tooling that I've had and I've been wanting to use a little bit more. Um, the collet chuck, for instance, I'm starting to really like that. It's nice to be able to chuck up the round stock that's one inch of material with the one inch collet chuck. The the die holder that I that I made worked fantastic. The Irwin dies that I have also fantastic. I used the advice from others out there that said use your tailstock to start your taps and dies. It starts straight. That's what I did this time. I've improved on my die threading and I have really nice peaks on my threads. I'm really improving. It takes time to learn all this stuff. I'm getting there and a lot of it is thanks to all you folks and your advice out there. But things are coming along. Things are improving. But it's really nice to start using a lot of the tools that I've started to accumulate and acquire, purchase um, through the advice and through the research. And it's nice to be able to use this stuff. All right, let's close this out. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. So maybe this will be its own video. But the, the video is another tube of sorts. But this is going to be a gift for my brother. It's a toothpick holder, like I said earlier. Um, but really... Um, the problem with the other ones is they wouldn't hold a toothpick because they weren't deep enough. Toothpicks are two and a half inches thick, if you didn't know. So, this is going to be plenty big. Again, my threads are half inch thick. So, here we go. I've really improved my threading using taps and dies. If you can see, I've got nice peaks on there. I'm really happy with those threads. I'm happy with the, the tap that I did. Plenty of room in there for a toothpick. The threads are very nicely done this time. Nice and tight. Not a lot of wobble. A little bit, but not, not too much. There we go. So, at any rate, I'm quite happy with that. So, toothpick holder done for my brother. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.